Hello my fellow friends and followers, it's me Retromania and in today's video we are talking about the top 15 best PlayStation 3 hidden gem games. And with this out of the way, let's immediately jump to the action. Let's go! Cross Edge, it's a crossover, hope the name already implies, from a bunch of unique characters made by Capcom, Nippon Ninja Software and Gust. The biggest critique for this game is the very confusing and very complex storytelling, but the gameplay is pretty solid if you ask me. It's a turn based and grid based combat system and if you follow me you will know that one of my favorite game genres are the turn based tactical JRPGs. And if you like what you see I would highly recommend checking this one out and with this out of the way let's jump to the next game on this list. Let's go! Mugen Souls is a very unique JRPG with free movement turn based combat system. The combat system reminds me kind of Cold Steel and I really like it. I really need to play the trail series but when I see 10 games all connected I'm like... Uh, pain. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, Mugen Souls. I love the combat system and the chibi art style. I never finished this game but from what I have played I liked it. Thus I put it in place 14. And yeah, let's see what game awaits us on place 13, shall we? Floria, it's a weird strategy RPG with a lot of uniqueness. You create new life on steroids with obviously zero life. This game has a beautiful yet simplistic art style and I really like it. So if you're in search for a simplistic and relaxing game, why not check it out? This will be a very controversial pick. Enchanted Arms is a traditional JRPG with unique golem combat system. The game starts slow and boring but it will get better over time. One of the biggest reasons why my child self even got this game in the first place was because of its cover art. Yeah, I'm very easy to please, I know. But yeah, I think Enchanted Arms is much better than people give it credit for and if you are into JRPGs you should definitely pick this one up. Anyways, let's swing to place number 11. Pixel Junk Monsters, it's a strategy tower defense game with beautiful and charming art style. Back in my old days I played a lot of tower defense games, but over the years I played less and less of them. Still, this is a tower defense game you should absolutely play. Beautiful art style, amazing mechanics and very hard at times. And yeah, with this out of the way, let's jump to the next game on my list. Let's go! Lega Sista it's a 2D dungeon crawler with a very unique art style and art direction. The game offers a very huge variety in customization and the randomly generated dungeons keep this game fresh and unpredictable. However, one downside of this title is the very simplistic story and over time the gameplay can be somewhat repetitive. Still, this is a very solid 2D RPG dungeon crawler and a game I highly recommend. What I also highly recommend is pressing that red subscriber button so that you get up to date when I drop a new video. And with this out of the way, let's jump to place number 9. Tokyo Jungle it's uh, very weird, but that's what makes it so so good. Now what exactly is Tokyo Jungle? Well it's a game set in a post apocalyptic Tokyo where animals hunt down other animals for food and for survival. The huge number of playable animals makes this game very diverse and very enjoyable and on top of that each animal has its own different playstyle and weaknesses. So if you never played this game, what are you doing? Go play it! Go 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 play it and let's move on to place number 8. El Shaddai Ascension from the Metatron, it's a beautifully drawn game that takes us on a journey to experience biblical stories once again in a different light. The gameplay is very simplistic but yet effective enough and the story obviously takes inspiration from angels, archangels and fallen angels. From the bible itself, but spins the stories in a new refreshing way. 
And yeah, what else can I say? Um, let's move on. Next game, please! The Guided Fate Paradox is a tactical strategy turn based JRPG with anime aesthetics. This game also beautifully retells some of the old fairy tale stories, like for example Cinderella. Just because this is the setting, why do I always have to be bullied and act meek and helpless? Clean your own damn room! Put on your own damn tea! I'm not your slave, bitch! I am Cinderella, the world's most famous princess. Well, um, maybe not one to one, but that's the interesting part about this game's narrative. What is also very interesting, it's the next game on my list, so let's slash to place number 6. Killer It's Dead, it's one of my favorite games of all time I have ever played on the PlayStation 3. Killer It's Dead, it's a hack and slash art style type game with a very weird and amazing story. The gameplay and art style are incredible and the weird nature of this game makes it even better if you ask me. Suda51, the same person who worked on the No More Hero games, also worked on this game. And he's one of the best in the video game industry. If you are looking for a great hack and slash, look no further, because Killer It's Dead, it's exactly that and more. And talking about more, the next game on this list, it's even more interesting. So let's see what awaits us next. Rain is a very atmospheric game with heavy emphasis on the rain. Who would have guessed? We walk in an alternative universe where it's always raining. It's raining 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. The rain, the dark atmosphere and the washed out colors give this game a very nice atmosphere. The next game on my list is also a very atmospheric game, but also a game with a lot more action. So why not we shoot ourselves a place out from place number 5 to place number 4. Shadow of the Damned it's a very very good game, but also a very very controversial game. Why controversial? Well because EA, aka Electronic Arts or however you want to call them. You see although I like this game, I liked it a lot, it's a fun horror shooter, the original gameplay concept of this game involved a torch, yes a torch, not a gun. A lot of famous figures worked on this game, one of them is Suda51. Hey, it's the killer, it's that guy. But another big figure who worked on this game was the guy behind Resident Evil itself. And also the guy behind the Silent Hill music OSTs. I loved the final product and we will never know which product would be better, the final product or the original concept. All what I can say that even with EA's involvement, the final product was really, really amazing. What it's also amazing, it's the next game on my list, so why not we jump to place number 3. Alice Menace Returns, it's a game based on the fairy tale of Alice in Wonderland. The game, how you can see, has a more darker atmosphere and the gameplay is a mix of platforming elements with puzzle solving elements. If you are a fan of dark, twisted platformers, this might be the perfect game for you. Anyways, let's jump to place number 2. Resonance of Fate, it's a very unique JRPG and one if not the best JRPG on the PlayStation 3. And definitely a JRPG that doesn't get as much recognition as it should. In this game, instead of swords, spears and shields, we use gun weapons to fight our opponents and this in a very cool steampunk environment. The story and characters are also well written and I really love the gameplay and the art style, everything is so so good. So if you never played Resonance of Fate, what are you doing? Go play it! And with this out of the way, let's jump to place number 1. On place 1 we have Puppeteer, one of the best games on the PlayStation 3. Such a charming and lovable game, well crafted and well designed. The animation work is so well done, your character, the environment and your enemies all move like puppets, it's very convincing. 
This is also one of Sony's rare platformers what they did less and less over time. I was actually arguing should I put Folklore or Puppeteer, but I decided in the end for Puppeteer, just because I think Folklore is the more quote unquote known PlayStation 3 title in the collecting market, while Puppeteer is maybe slightly less known. But both games are amazing and deserve to be played like all games on this top list. And yeah, this was my top 15 best PlayStation 3 hidden gem games. Do you agree with my opinion or do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section down below. And with this out of the way, I wish you all a wonderful day. Sayonara my good old PlayStation 3 friends. Bye, 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 bye. And bye.